Hello everyone. Um, I want to start by introducing myself. My name is Massacre. Usually all my videos I, um, are in Spanish. Um, there are some videos that I do have that have no, no, no n that I am not talking in them. So basically you can watch some of those videos in my channel. They're pretty much uh, videos that have to do with battles that we've had either in Clash of Mafia or, or even Royale. Um, I invite you guys to, you know, for you new people or, or English speakers um, to go view those in my channel. Um, I want to start by asking you to subscribe. Um, depending on the subscriptions and the comments I get on the bottom, um, and I know that I have that population in English, then I'll start making more videos in English. Um, this video pretty much, I'm going to be talking about troop formation. In this case, I'm going to be talking about the snipers or shooters um, when it comes to Mafia City. Um, so I've been one that has been adamant about um, basically talking about bulkers and bikers and their importance and me only working on those as far as stats. <clears throat> so what I mean is that on my troop formation, the way I set up my troop formation is usually by having more bulkers and bikers in them and eliminating a lot of the of the of the of the bikers of the shooters in this case like t10 shooters and also when you look here at the t9 um t9 snipers also the assassin so as you notice i only have 500 of those and when it comes to the t10 shooter i only put 2500 where my main focus is really the t9 bulkers like most people use them in this game you know and the and then you have also the T10 bikers and T10 bulkers, obviously for for the defense in my in the march. So I'm gonna show you how I've done pretty much using this using this technique or this style of formation in my in my in my gaming. Um, pretty much, pretty much has been I've been successful with a lot of a lot uh, with this troop formation. I've been. <clears throat> doing pretty well with people with the same stats that I have when it comes to that. So as you can see, um, my stats in biker attack and defense is 613 and 455. And on bulker attack and defense, I'm at 477 and 457. Um, my troop capacity, um, I can get it up with the buffs up to like 390,000. So I, I do pretty well when it comes to that. Obviously, I, I want to bring it higher, but this is my troop formation. These are my concentration. If you look at my shooter attack and my defense is low because I really don't invest in it. Now, the reason I'm making this video is because I've been throughout my videos in Spanish. I've been taught, to, um, you know, letting everyone know how, how strongly I feel about bikers and bulkers and all that but i had a different experience um in the three versus three event where where i got attacked twice by two different people and and these people use a different type of formation and they use a shooter formation something i'm not used to so let me just show you this is the power i lost versus the power they lost in this attack Right, so I defended, and it, I lost two million power. You know, when I went down, when I went down. So basically, again, my focus here, as you can see, my crime ops is three hundred ninety six thousand under three versus three, bulker attack four seventy seven, bulker defense four six fifty six. <coughs> Biker attack 611 and 455. I usually do well. And then when you look at these stats, you notice that this person's stat is not higher than mine. So I should have won this. This is my first thing. I said, what the hell happened here? But when I look down, something new to me. This person, his shooter attack is 671. Now, we know that the shooters are long range, long range troops, right? So what happened is that the shooters beat my troops. The shooters beat my troops from far away, basically. 
And if you notice, look at my shooter attack and defense. Again, it's low compared to his. So let me show you the exact formation that this person has. So Scarface with some T11s, which I'm not even, I don't even want to go there yet. But you notice he put a whole bunch of shooters and opposite to me, no bikers. He did put, a, obviously, he needs to put the T10 bulkers in for defense, right? But look at all this. Look what his T10 bulkers did. Look how many of my troops they killed. The T10 shooters, right? Now, I'm going to go down and look at his T9 sniper also, the assassin, what they did. So look at the quantity of troops that he put here as a T9 and if you continue scrolling down more obviously he's gonna do levels right so you're not you know you're gonna level the troops out to help provide a cushion for the attack but this is what he did to me he killed <laughs> almost all of my bikers he killed all of my bulkers t9s And every, sorry about that, and every other layer below that, and every other layer below that, so I'm getting a call from, from one of my clan members, hold on, I'm going to have to mute this because he's going to continue calling him, thank you Tiger, thank you for interrupting the video Tiger, I appreciate that, <laughs> alright, so he continued and from there, he eliminated all of my bikers and bulkers, all of them. So, listen, this is new to me. I mean, I've heard of people using shooter def shooter formations. For me, this was new. You know, I'm going to use another one. This is from a uh, AFO member also. Look at this shooter attack and defense. Compared to me, destroyed all my troops. Their stats are good with the other stuff. However, look at his stats with the shooter. And then when you look at exactly what they did, is that they used all these troops. This is his formation. Only shooters. And that was enough to destroy my troops. He beat me. Beat me silly. <laughs> As you can see, look at all the kills he got with only the shooters. So this is a different type of formation. So what is what is it what is there to learn from the shooter formation is that <coughs> in the game there are more people using biker and bulker formations. So if you focus on your shooter formation, you're going to have the advantage that you're going to beat more people using that type of formation with the shooter formation. So this is great, um not so great for me because I've only invested really on in biker and bulker. Um, um, but this is great for like new people if they want to start growing and instead of having the typical formation where everybody has a bulker and biker I'm not saying not to invest on those those are important too because the biker and shooter formation. I'm sure will be awesome but um, This is great because There's there there are only a few people that have this formation and a lot more that have bulker and biker So that means that they're gonna be winning a lot more battles versus mansions and these and in these um one on one attacks like on the underground and three versus three um the real estate competition and all these things that are one on one they're going to be winning a lot more battles because they have that this type of formation that kills bulkers and bikers so that's something to consider i'm someone that's always open for new ideas i i never i'm never enclosed in anything so for me this is an, an eye opener um, pretty much, uh, I'm going to start working on my shooter now and include them in my, in my formations. And I'm going to continue working on my biker and on the D and obviously on the health and defense of my bulkers, um, to, to help provide a cushion. Shooters are great also to defend your mansion. So if you're receiving an attack from someone else, the shooters are great. Remember they're a long range, um, defense. So, so so they'll be killing a lot of troops coming into your into your mansion. Um, 
this is again the first time I do this, vid this these videos or this type of video in English. Um, I want to ask everyone if you want to subscribe, um, click the the little bell, make sure that you know that you get these videos instantly when I upload them. Um, again, I have a good following with the Spanish community. I'm from New York, just so you guys get to know a little bit more about me. I'm from the U.S. I noticed that there was um. A lack of videos or lack of um, educational videos for the Spanish community. So I decided to do this in Spanish. Um, I have a lot of people that follow me from Brazil, from Portugal, that they understand Spanish pretty well. Um, if you have any questions or if you have any suggestions and even ideas that you want to show me, you could put a comment right under this video. I would really appreciate it. I am open-minded. I do not get insulted if you have an opinion or you don't like something I say. I take it very well because, again, I, I feel that I've been playing over three years and um, I put some money into the game and there's always something new that I'm learning and I love it. Um, again, um, you can see some videos where I've where I've gotten um, zeroed or almost zeroed. Um, I lost 10 million power. I got a surprise attack. It's also in my channel. Um, you can see a whole bunch of things in my videos. Anyway, thank you so much. Thank you for listening to me. Um, again, Massacre. I'm at City781 now. Share these videos with your friends, with your clan. Train them. Let them know the alternatives to what the normal or the typical formations are. Again, once again, thank you so much. I appreciate everything. Um, and have a great day.